even though from our daily experience, we know materials such as aluminum is neither attracted nor repelled by a magnet. It turns out that all materials have magnetic properties, and their magnetic properties can be affected by external magnetic field. To understand the magnetic properties of materials, we have to look at electrons in atoms. The explanation requires quantum physics. That is beyond the scope of this course, so we will just use the classical models in this lesson. In a classical atom model, electrons in an atom orbit around the nucleus. Having negatively charged the electron going around in a loop is equivalent to a positive electric current flowing in the opposite direction. So, an orbiting electron is like a current loop. Therefore, it has an orbital magnetic dipole moment. An electron also spins. Spinning electron means the negative charges are whirling around. So an electron also has a spin magnetic dipole moment. When we get to the modern physics unit, we will learn that these classical models are not valid models. However, they are okay to use for the qualitative analysis we do in this lesson. The protons and neutrons in the nucleus also have magnetic dipole moments, but their magnetic dipole moments are much smaller than that of an electron and can usually be neglected. When we add the orbital magnetic dipole moment vector and the spin magnetic dipole moment vector of every electron in an atom or a molecule, we get the net magnetic dipole moment of the atom or molecule. And the dipole moment vector of each atom or molecule combined will give us the net or resultant magnetic dipole moment of the material. We will discuss these three types of materials in the next lessons: diamagnetic, paramagnetic, and ferromagnetic.